I always have been and probably always will be a massive Sherlock Holmes fan. I love reading the books, I love watching just about any adaptation that's made of that character and I do like it when they deviate a little bit from the source material. When they try something different, it just imbues it with a new sense of energy, particularly in one of my favourite iterations of Sherlock Holmes without a clue. We get uh, Michael Caine as Sherlock Holmes, we get Ben Kingsley as Watson, and that itself is just a fantastic pairing. But the conceit, the idea behind without a clue, is just a wonderful spin on things. What if Watson was the brains of the operation? What if he was the man that had these d d reasoning and deductive skills and Sherlock Holmes was just a drunk actor, there to betray a character so that Watson could put all the good ideas into this person. And that's the idea of the movie. The only thing is, is Sherlock Holmes has taken off. He's become an institution. People love him for who he is and they sideline Watson as just basically a sidekick. So you have this resentful a genius detective who has created this creation, this persona, this character of Sherlock Holmes and gets none of the credit that he is due and everything falls onto this actor who seemingly, even when doing things wrong, things turn out right for him. And of course they have battles with Moriarty, they have a wonderful performance by Geoffrey Jones as Lestrade and it's just a wonderful setup and idea expertly executed. I love without a clue because of the humour that it gives you but it still has the staples of a Sherlock Holmes story. It has a great mystery, it has the familiar characters and tropes that we are used to seeing within the Holmes world. We have Moriarty there, we have this grander scheme mystery as well as all these little bits that come together to thread toward, towards this wonderful tapestry of a story yet it's all framed throughout this little change in just these two main characters. And we watch as they move through the world, as we watch as uh, the, the, the ridiculously funny things keep happening to Watson. You know, he can stand in a room with one other person in Holmes and reason out why things have happened, and the person is just not interested. And then Holmes will repeat the information, and that person is suddenly wowed with his deductive reasoning. And it's just funny. It is ridiculously funny within its language, within its mannerisms, and you can tell that both uh, Michael Caine and Ben Kingsley are having a whale of a time in this role, in these weird, strange, alternate reality Holmes and Watson characters. I love the, the, the idea of the storyline, the incursion of Moriarty late on and how he knows the truth and is always looking to sabotage Watson rather than Holmes but it always seems to be Holmes that ends up in the firing line and his story of being a failed actor and an alcoholic just adds more humour to the movie and I'm laughing about it now because I'm thinking of certain scenes where Michael Caine is just so goddamn funny in these kind of roles in the bar scene at the start when he quits being Holmes and just gets drunk for several days it's just immensely entertaining even the moment of when he tries to kill himself later on in the movie but misjudges the length of the rope because he just he's just not good at anything other than performing this character. But through all this, through all the misgivings, what I really like about the movie is it's about these two characters learning to coexist, learning that they both need each other to get by. Sure, they both have certain facets that the other doesn't have, whether it be um, just a sense of bravado and entertainmentship like Holmes has, or the brains and everything else that Watson has, but they do really need each other to survive. They need each other to cohabitate together so that they can succeed. It's just a wonderfully entertaining movie. If you haven't seen Without a Clue, you should definitely check it out. I was struggling to find a version of it, but thankfully I found a free version on YouTube that I watched, thought it was great. You should definitely check that out if you haven't seen it. If you like Holmes and you're looking for something very different than the norm, without a clue, is a wonderful piece of entertainment. I'd love to know your thoughts on the movie, if you've seen it, let me know in the comment box below, and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.